Hunters like Sagramois flying down the outside. Twin beaten with Son of Big. Cape Tribulation out Sticks in front. Sticks his head in front from Ivan. Utilizes that turn of a Jubilee weekend celebration. unbeaten. The use of the whip in horse racing is a highly emotive subject. Because of that, the authority, the British Horse Racing Authority, from time to time gets placed under intense pressure to review the use of the whip in racing. That most recently happened in September 2011, resulting in significant and substantial changes to the rules relating to the use of the whip. They are in place now to ensure the welfare of the, of the sport going forward to protect the safety and welfare of the horse and the rider. As a consequence of that, now the future of the whip is literally in the hands of you, the riders. Uh, because of the new rules, we're, um, we're a lot fitter and stronger and, and just as effective. This definitely helped on um, fitness level. You can definitely see um, jockeys are getting stronger now. I feel myself that I'm a, a lot fitter than I was. I think it exposes the, the lesser riders to the, uh, and it makes better riders even more better. It's helping us look after the horse and you know, it's improving us as horsemen. Riding in a race, get your horse into a rhythm, get him balanced. First thing you need to do is, is lower yourself, lower your body, you squeeze with your legs. You want your horse to sort of go through the gears um, progressively. And then it's a natural progression as far as changing your hands and, and just keep squeezing, pushing. Keep a nice good, good hold of their head and um, just get them to really stretch. You judge from, from, from the horse what he's telling you underneath you. If you think he, you know, if he's running, you go with him and see if he responds to that. Asking them to stretch, asking them to use itself and to extend their stride. The last resort that I would go through is going for my whip. This sit is called the martini glass. I mean, if you look at it here, he has got his elbows back to his knees and he's got a nice straight back and his head's nice and still. All his weight is on his toe. He's got his elbow back to about his knee and just watch as he drops down into push mode. What he does, he just lowers his body a little bit, but the weight stays over his toe. More or less, if you look down at the back of his shoulder, his knee and his toe will be more or less in line. And when he starts pushing here, you'll notice that his elbows come back to almost his knee and sometimes past it. This isn't any different while you're riding short as this jockey does or ride a bit longer. You'll still be coming back. To get the push, you need to come back that distance. This is how to go from a long hold to a shorter hold. If you watch the jockey here, he runs his hand down the right hand rein and brings his thumb out over the top of the rein grabs it with a finger and thumb, brings the other rein back and catches it in his thumb and ends up with a double bridge and has the perfect hold. This is how to get your stick from your right hand to your left hand. Again, thumb over the top, drop that rein, grip the stick with a very soft grip on the right hand and leave a little space there so the stick will come through. Now you've got your left hand back on the reins, back to a perfect grip. And from the jockey's view, you run down the rein with your right hand, thumb over the top, get that stick, pull it through nice and softly, hand back on the reins, the perfect grip again. And this is a view from the front, exactly the same thing here happens, except he keeps the stick up in the backhand position, ready to use the whip. This is how the stick is brought from the right hand to the left hand, using exactly the same method. So it's down the rein, over the top, grip that nice soft grip of the stick, pull it through, you have it in the upward position. The right hand is loose, then the grip tightens down and you get a nice momentum and here he is putting the stick back down again and getting hold of the reins. Show this again from a, your view, pull it through, get a nice rhythm straight away with the whip. The right hand is perfectly perched on the back of the horse's neck. This is how to use your stick in the downward position and give a horse a backhander just when you want it to go. If you see James here, he's shortened his hands, he's got his hand right on the back of the horse's neck in the middle where he should be, and he gets a nice rhythm on, and then when he goes to give it a little flick, he just brings it slightly higher to give him some momentum. So now he's pushing the horse, changes his hands, has the right hand right on top of the horse's neck so that he can help it. He's got the stick in the upward position, 
he gets a nice bit of momentum before he uses it. He just brings the stick a little bit higher just to get that momentum before he brings it down again. All looks very good, letting the stick do the work, never loses any balance or momentum. This is a slow motion picture of how to get the stick from the downward position to the upward position. You see here James flicks it up between his index finger and his second finger and just twists his wrist over. Here we go from the other side, puts it through and twists it over. It goes over the back of your hand. This is the other way to do it. Just flick it forward, bounce the stick in the back of your hand and bring it up through, finger over. I'll show you that from the other angle. Flicks it forward between the index and the second, bounces off the back of the hand, brings it up, finger over, full grip. This is a typical two and a half or three furlong run in where the jockey has already asked his horse to get into full flight. He now uses the stick in the backhand position, putting both hands back on the reins and giving the horse time to respond. He then picks the stick up in the forehand position and gets the horse in full flow to the winning post. Not overusing the whip and getting the best from his horse. Fitness is crucial for any jockey, but when you get down to this position and have to push in this angle, it really takes a lot of fitness to do this. And you can see here the jockey is pivoting from his knee movement is minimal and his head hardly moves. This is very difficult to maintain over a period of time and if you have to push your horse for two to three furlongs you need to be extremely fit. Here is an example of incorrect use of the whip which causes the horse to drift right-handed and this is the result. The horse in the middle here with the noseband, watch this. This is a case of a jockey not giving a horse time to respond to the whip. He has picked the stick up and carried on hitting the horse all the way to the line. Had no good effect in my opinion whatsoever and the horse never had a chance to respond. This is good use and effective use of the whip. Got the horse here with the white face with the star on the hat. The jockey is picking the horse up from quite a long way out and before he ever thinks about the whip he's asking this horse to stretch, get him into top gear and he's waited for quite a long time before he's hit him. He gives him one with the right just to get him into top gear, puts the stick down and pulls it through to his left hand. He then gives the horse one more, waits again for it to respond and gives it one more and finishes the race off just waving the whip. This is not just technically very good, it's also very effective. The horse on the inside here with the red cap, this is a great ride given in a top class race where a horse has had a fantastic ride from a jockey who's been very effective the way he's done it. He's asked the horse here to pick up and get into the race. He's jumped over there and he's given it a slap. He's asked the horse, give it time to respond, then he's pulled it through with his left hand, give it one, but put his hands back on the reins, giving the horse time to keep its balance and keep it straight. And he jumps the last here, gives it time to get over the jump before he picks the stick up. He has it in his backhand position. He's used it sparingly. This is a big race, and there's a lot of pressure, and this jockey has ridden this horse to perfection. And not only did he win the race, but he's made the best use of his whip. Is your horse balanced and in rhythm? Have you used your voice? Have you squeezed and kicked? Have you changed your hands? Have you pushed? Have you waved your stick? Are you in contention? Pick up as late as possible. Put the stick down in between use. Allow at least three strides, then change your hands before using the whip again. Think before using the whip. 